That is a sticker used for marking the Shikoku pilgrimage in Japan. Not sure what it's doing here, but that brings back memories. Uh, yesterday, as I was leaving Las Caban, a small village, I saw that a gate was open and I asked if they had room and they had, we were actually only four pilgrims uh, so yeah, it was really nice I had to have a bed, a shower spent some time with other pilgrims that was pretty cool and I'm heading now towards Monku which is probably like five kilometers away and that translates as my ass Every joke possible has been made about this place and it is actually hard to have a sentence that doesn't sound weird if it has the name of the town in it. This morning I met a nice Kiwi lady on trail. As I lived in New Zealand for a while, we talked about trail there and in Australia. We also realized that we both lived in the same place in Australia, Catherine which is, of all places, a very random town far from everything. We were so amazed at that coincidence that we missed a marker and walked a good 20 minutes in the wrong direction. was quite a day. Uh, went through some really cool villages, uh, Moncu obviously, and uh, Lozert which was really really cool. Uh, and met a lot of pilgrims today, probably the most I've seen uh, since I started, since day one. I even saw a pilgrim that's uh, going all the way to Santiago on a bike, uh, that's pretty cool. There was a farmer that saw me and gave me some paper, so that's really nice. I just had the weirdest encounter ever. I saw this guy walking his dog uh, far away and something was off about him. I couldn't say what and when he was closer uh, he had his hoodie on and uh, some kind of uh, paper plate masking his face. So and he was acting a bit weird and when I was like 50 meters away or something, he had this maniacal laughter. That's just really, really weird. It's the kind of laughter that the worst actor you can think of in a Z movie playing a psycho would have. It was just really weird, just not a natural laughter. <laughs> uh, so it looked more like he was acting like a psycho in a horror movie than uh, he was actually crazy. I don't know, that was really weird. Some villages in France get the label, one of the most beautiful villages in France, and Ovilar is one of them. Well, it actually kind of feels like you're going through one of those every day on the Camino, which is really cool.
It looks like the Camino has an endless list of towns and places with funny names. And it doesn't stop here. When you leave Condom, you go across the Bez River. Larsingle is the smallest fortified village in France. It is not on trail, but it's definitely worth a short side trip. Slowly getting there. Le Puy is here and went all the way to here. And here is where I should stop tonight. Here sur la Dour and Saint Jean Pierre. There is a gate over there, and they have this uh, very nice place, uh, this really nice shelter for pilgrims picnic tables, tea, coffee, so it's a, a donativo, you just put a bit of money here and uh, take what you need. Yesterday I arrived in uh, Air sur la Dour and I was hoping to stay in a shed there but they were all full again so it looks like I'm walking in and out of a bubble and what I didn't realize yesterday is arriving in uh, Air sur la Dour it was the end of uh, Gers for me which is good because it was probably the most boring section uh, just a lot of wood walking and nothing much else really. Uh, sorry Gers. And I am now for 27 kilometers I think in Land, Land County, which I haven't been to in seven years. I was working here in 2017 and I just got my first glimpse of the Pyrenees. I turned the camera around so you can see. Probably can see but they're just over there.
day 26 and my last day on the Via Podiensis. And last day walking in France.